Hello class and welcome to today's lesson on 9.2. Uh, today we're going to talk about something called reflections. So to start our objective, find reflection images of figures. And our essential question is what happens to a figure when it is reflected? So right, what is a reflection, right? If we look at a reflection, right, it's the same image reflected over what we call a line of reflection, right? We're going to talk about that book up word here in a sec. Right, there's some line of reflection, and it is reflected over that line. So when I get into our vocab words, right, a reflection reflects over what we call a line of reflection. And then there's kind of two ideas here. There's one, what if we have a point that's on that line? Well, if we have a point that's on that line, right, its image or its reflection is just going to be that same point. Now, what if it is a point that's not on the line, like this one, B? Right, this is where we have to understand it needs to be the same distance, right? We're reflecting it perfectly across this line as what it's going to be on the other side. And so in reality, what's happening is we have this line, right? The quickest way to another line is a straight line going through it. So this ends up being a perpendicular bisector, right? That line of reflection bisects this line and it is perpendicular to it. Key idea is understanding, right? If this is five spaces away, well, then this would also be five spaces away, right? Those are reflected across perfectly. And if we think back to 9-1 um, material, right, we talked about this word isometry, right, meaning does not change size or shape. Those things are congruent, right? We're just reflecting something, right? If we just reflect this triangle over, right, it shouldn't change the size or the shape. It should just reflect over that line of reflection. So if you need to stay here, just pause the video. I'm going to get moving forward. So it says, draw the figure's reflection image across the line, right? Not an artist, not going to be perfect, but right, it should look something like this, right? If we have our heart here, right, it should come down here and right there, right? Noticing, right, this little part right here should be the closest part to our line, right? It should reflect over. And then the part of our heart, right? Those should be fairly equidistant to one another, trying to reflect it across that line. So let's try another example here. Right, we have this box here. If we reflect it over this line, right, it's going to look similar to this. Not going to be perfect. Right, we have this box here. We'll fix that. We have this box, and then we're going to have this line. Fix this here, and I'll just color it in. All right, again, not perfect. Not perfect here. All right, rough sketch. Right, we reflected that over that line. Over that line. Uh, one thing we need to know for this section is we need to know. When we see a line y equals 3 or x equals 3, we need to know what that's talking about. Right? Whenever we see y equals, that should tell you right away it's going to be a horizontal line. Right? In this case, it is all the points that are on this line right here. Right? When we see x equals, this should be telling you this is a vertical line, and that would be all of the points. So now we can use that when we're asked to reflect over one of those lines. We know what we're talking about here. So first example, we have our point negative 2 comma 5, and we need to reflect it across the x-axis. Right, our x-axis is this one right here. So we look, okay, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots away. So we need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots away to find our new point. 
that says, what are the coordinates of the image, right? This would be negative two comma negative. Next one, right? This one says same point, but now across the y-axis, right? Y-axis is this one right here. So we need to reflect over this one, so right? It's one, two away, so we go one, two this way, and we find our new point, and right, the coordinate of this point would be at two. Positive two comma five. Okay, now a little trickier here, right? Now we use those lines, like the y equals or x equals. Well, a line of y equals two is going to be this one right here. And if I want to reflect over that, right, I figure out, okay, I'm one, two, three spots away, so I go one, two, three. I've now found my point, and it is at two comma negative one. 2, comma, negative 1. And one more here, right, what about the line x equals negative 1? Well, right, that's this line right here. If i got to reflect over it, right, notice I'm only one spot away, and so it's going to be this point right here, which is at 0, comma, 5. 0, comma, So last couple problems here. Now putting it all together, right? What if we have a triangle here? So I'm going to a quick sketch where this is, right? Two comma one, two, three, four, five, six. There's A. B is at five. Five, four. And then C is at three comma negative one. So now we connect those points. It's now asking us to reflect it over this line right here. This line of x equals 2. Well, right, if we reflect it over that line, and if we have a line or a point on that line, right, that is just where our reflection is going to be. So A just stays right where it is. Now for B prime, right, we look and see, okay, well, it's one, two, three spaces away. So B prime should be three spaces to the left. And since C is one spot away, C prime should be one spot to the left. And now we have our reflection of our original triangle, of our pre-image. Let's write that our reflection. So one more type of problem here. Find the image of one comma, or negative one comma one, so negative one comma one after two reflections. So first it says the line y equals 2. So i got to first reflect over this line. If I do that, right, we'll call this, this original one was a, we'll call this a prime. And now it wants us to reflect over the line x equals 4. Well, that's out here. One, two, three, four. And we got to figure out, okay, one, two, three, four, five away. One, two, three, four, five away. And this would be a double prime. If it's asking for the exact spot, right, in this case, this would be at at 9, comma, 3. 9, comma, 3. So that is it for today's lesson on reflections. Um,